In these problems, we're looking at something called the discriminant. And when you're working with the quadratic formula, knowing what the discriminant is and being able to evaluate it quickly is a really useful thing. Remember, the quadratic equation is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. The discriminant is this chunk underneath the square root sign. So the discriminant is actually b squared minus 4ac. Why is that important? Well, it's going to tell you what roots you get, what solutions you get, whether they're real, whether they're complex, and how many there are. So think about this. Under that square root, there are three possibilities. You could have a positive number. If you have a positive number there, you're going to have two real solutions because the square root of a positive number is a real number. And then you've got this plus or minus. You could have a negative number under there. If that's the case, you're going to have two imaginary or complex solutions. So you've got the plus or minus, uh, you're going to have two imaginary solutions. Now the other option is it could be zero. If the discriminant comes out to be zero, then you're plus or minus zero, it's really just your one answer is negative b over 2a. So those are the three possibilities. When discriminant is greater than zero, you have two real roots. When the discriminant is less than zero, two imaginary roots. And when the discriminant equals zero, one real root. All right, let's put this to work here. In this first problem, it says find the discriminant. In a lot of ways, this is quite a bit easier than uh, doing the quadratic equation because we only have to do part of it. We need to find b squared minus 4ac. Well, b here is 4, so that's 16 is b squared, and then minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. This is 16 minus 24, which equals a negative 8. What that means is you're going to have two imaginary roots for this particular problem. But in this one, all it said was to find the discriminant. That's what it is, a negative 8. Let's take a look at this next one. It says determine the nature of the roots. So here they want us to tell whether they're going to be real roots, imaginary roots, or, or maybe one real root. So we'll find the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. b is 3, so b squared is 9 minus 4 times a times c is 2. So we've got 9 minus 24. <clears throat> this is going to be a negative 15. So you're going to have two imaginary roots. So that's a little bit about using the discriminant of a quadratic formula. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.